So in Europe, uh, you know that the austerity has not worked out well for politicians. Uh, they've been thrown out of office nearly in mass. Even in Germany, uh, Merkel had a serious setback in the last uh, election, local elections. Uh, in uh, England, well, they did austerity, and here's what happened. They headed back into recession. And on top of that, the conservative government decided to do the genius idea of giving tax cuts to the rich. What are you, Americans? <laughs> so here's what happened in, uh, because of that. Conservatives lost 405 council seats. Labor Party gained 823 seats all across Great Britain, okay, in local elections. Oops. And then, of course, Sarkozy got thrown out on his ass. Hollande is in now. In Spain, uh, the more conservative candidate lost. You name it. In Greece, now the far left party is about to win a new election. So it didn't work. So what's happened now here in the U.S.? Panic has begun to set in. Now incumbents here in the U.S. are looking around going, um, are we next? <laughs> My answer is, hell yes, you're next. I hope you're next. So the uh, Labor Party uh, is trying to give them advice from, oh, from Great Britain, saying, hey, don't head in this direction. MP John Trickett said, uh, incumbency plus uh, austerity equals political death. I love that line. There's a general spirit across Europe, and perhaps in the U.S., against the political elite. Well. There's absolutely no question about that, right? In fact, even uh, Senator Pat Roberts, who's a Republican of Kansas, said the electorate's mood is, quote, off with their heads. Okay, how very European. Yes, indeed, that is the mood, right? And that's why, by the way, and this isn't something new, people got thrown out of mass in 06, in 08, 2010. People are angry here in the US as they are in Europe, and they know that the elite in Washington are screwing them over, working with Wall Street to screw them over. So uh, Lindsey Graham admits this, the Democrats, Republicans all say, okay, that's definitely happening. So, but I love this, because in the end, Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina, turns this around and says, you see, that's why we should screw the middle class one last time. Now, he doesn't say it in those words, I'm gonna give you his words, and then we'll talk about why he's uh, meaning that. He says, quote, we're going to need a Ronald Reagan Tip O'Neill moment, because what you see in Europe is a breaking apart of consensus. The centrist parties took a beating, and now everybody's running for the hills. Here's what Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill did. They held hands, they did it together. Now, let me explain why that means what I just said. Because the message of this entire political movement is austerity, that which means cutting spending, which is the conservative Republican idea here in the US is political death off with their heads. Lindsey Graham agrees, oh yeah, that's a big trouble. So what's your answer to that? N not, let's not do it. His answer is, yes, let's do austerity, but let's hold hands while we do it. <laughs> so A, I don't give a damn what the American people think. I don't care what the whole world thinks. I'm gonna cut spending anyway, because I need to redistribute that money to the top, because I'm gonna cut spending and I'm gonna cut taxes for the rich, and I'm gonna cut taxes for corporations, because that's who pays me. But he also says, but I need the Democrats to do it with me. Because I don't want to just go over the cliff by myself, because then the Republicans will lose. So I need the Democrats to be so painfully stupid that they would hold my hands as we jump off that cliff together. And by the way, is it, if it was for the right policy, then you say, hey, maybe it's worth it, you know, principle over politics. But we just showed you, in Europe, they did austerity, and it didn't work. And England's back in recession, Great Britain's back in recession. And the reason that people get, keep getting tossed out is not because the people are stupid, it's because the people see austerity didn't work. It didn't stimulate the economy, it hurt the economy. So, but Lindsey Graham doesn't care. He cares about the top 1%. You know, in 2010, 93% of the economic gains in this country went to the just top 1% when we were recovering from the recession. So Lindsey Graham thinks, that's great, that's what I want. I want the money redistributed to the top. Now, if the Democrats are stupid enough to hold his hand and jump off that cliff, they have it coming. But you see this? Any Democrat with even a shred of intelligence should look at this and go, oh, hell no, I'm not holding your hand over that. Yeah, 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 Dad, you see that Lindsey Graham son of a bitch? He's for austerity. He's for spending cuts. Go get him. Me, I'm for you guys. I want to stimulate the economy and create jobs. How easy is it? 